So X Day is coming up and it is packed with events and invitees and I wanted to make a short summary of what are my expectations, what I think will happen because the list of the invitees of the special guests is very long and I think these three days, 3rd, 4th and 5th, will be packed with interesting and new announcements which will probably drive the price up now, we don't know obviously, but it will be a very important event looking into the future and looking into the future of Aaron Network. So let's start and I'm not going to do any intros because I know that you just want the information. First of all, don't forget to vote on the EGOT community for the best social impact project, best tech project, blah, blah, blah. You can read all of these and you need to sign up or sign in and you need to connect your MyR wallet just to make sure that you're not a bot. And then you can vote for your uh, favorite project. If you don't know how to connect your wallet or how to sign in, I left a link in the description where you can find a blog post and also a video, a tutorial video, which was made by Ed just to help you uh, get around this uh, platform easier. So do that and uh, yeah, vote for each category, your most beloved project. Now let's go forward and check what is going to happen, who are the invitees and what we expect from them to announce. First of all, I want to highlight the two Minister of Research. One is the Romanian uh, Minister of Research and the other one is the French. Now, these two are very important. Obviously, I think this has to do a lot of things with the central bank, but also how Eagled or Arond network will be the layer one network or the layer one platform for the upcoming CBDCs. Yes, I said it out loud. I do think that Benny Minku is going around the officials just to make sure that Aaron network will be integrated, used and probably be the basic or go-to project when they want to swap to digital currencies or digital assets in which the countries are interested and the research uh, ministries or the research department of each country is working or want to discover. Let's go forward. I think it ties very closely to the ministers and the research center, MasterCard's partnership. And obviously it is because they will probably announce a MyR card, which we are expecting since they bought Twispay and they have a financial institution, a Web2 financial institution. They can now create a stable coins and that is why Ashswap is a very important piece of the puzzle. Now we will go back to that maybe a bit later, maybe in the next video, but let's go forward because we do have lots of attendees and speakers and invitees here. Obviously very important is Ledger. Ledger obviously trying to attend every uh, big uh, layer one or layer two uh, networks events, but Ledger being partner at the most important conference of Aaron Network probably sends a message because Ledger is the most popular hardware wallet and they are just expanding and making newer and newer updates. For example, they have mobile applications as well. Uh, back in the day when I bought my first Ledger, they didn't have any of those. They only had uh, PC integration. Now, obviously, this is very important because I think people understand it more and more that it is not good to have uh, your tokens on a centralized exchange, for example, not even on a software wallet. The most important is to have your crypto secure and that is a hardware wallet. Let's go forward. Who is the next one? Well, this was a surprise to me and uh, Nicole Muniz from Yuga Labs. If somebody doesn't know what Yuga Labs is or which project is the most famous one from them is the Bored Apes Yacht Club. And uh, Nicole is uh, very interested in the metaverse they are planning to uh, expand more and more they are going towards games and the virtual realities and uh, she said many times in her interviews that the metaverse is going to be something crazy something big they are looking forward to it but they don't see uh, the companies which can make it happen yet so I am very interested to see what she has to say what will be the relationship with Aaron because if if it turns out that they will have a future project, that could bring a very big attention to Aaron. We need to consider that Aaron is still not so popular, uh, especially in the United States, for example. They could also expand in Romania. The users, the, the viewers and the community uh, which interacts right now in the bear market is, I think, 40% from Romania, which is not bad, but obviously but obviously, considering the global market, we want air on the network to expand. I don't know what happened to the Miami stuff, but it seems that that train derailed a bit. Now, we don't know what will happen. I will try to get her on camera. I don't know if I'm going to succeed because she's very popular, obviously, and uh, uh, I don't think that I can get near her, but I will certainly try to pick her brain with two, three questions. Let's go forward.
Next guess, uh, Herman Narula. He is very important one, and this ties very close together to Nikola Munitz Board Apes Yacht Club because he is the CEO of Improbable. Now, Improbable is focusing exclusively on the metaverse. If you just check their sites, improbable.io, you will see that they are the metaverse technology company. They want to uh, deliver the technology, expertise, and services to help you unleash the full potential of virtual worlds. Now, the important part here is that uh, they want to help companies. So I don't think they want to create this. I want to mention here that the metaverse is far, far away. Now, if you just consider that for a metaverse uh, game or, or reality, let's say, how much physical items you need okay you will need the the vr you will need uh the console the controller stuff like that and if you just think of the ps5 the playstation 5 uh cell from two years ago i think there are still many people who didn't uh, not they didn't get it they can find now but it's still on shortage on a lot of stocks due to the chip manufacturing for example and uh, yeah due to the high demand uh, if we really want to get some global onboarding, obviously many people will need these kind of items, the equipments, and I am uh, very sorry to say that uh, in uh, second and third world countries, many people don't even have a powerful PC or laptop. So when this virtual reality gets there, I don't know, but it is very important to understand what is at play here. But yeah, it is very good that they are um, preparing for that. And I think the next Buran will, will bring more and more onboarding. I don't know what will be the hype or genre like DeFi, Metaverse, Web3, I don't know, NFTs again. We don't know, but DeFi, by the way, is, uh, is getting traction again. So might be, might be DeFi. And after that, Metaverse again. Let's see. Okay, next uh, on the list is obviously the upper integration. This is very important because more and more chains are getting integrated in some kind of a browser. And uh, yeah, it is important. I don't know if Opera is the is the best. I think the crypto guys are using uh, Brave. However, I don't know any statistics in uh, which uh, balance the people are using which browser. So Opera, I am sure that Opera is taking up a very big part of that. But obviously, I think Google... Google Chrome is the most uh, mostly used or widely used. So yeah, we will see what will happen. I think this is this is still important. Probably we will get to a point when the the browser will be one of the wallets. Okay, I don't really use it. I don't really even use my Brave's uh, integration, but uh, yeah, it's important. I think. New team members. Now, it was very interesting to see that there are new team members uh, and the new team members at a very high position because as you can see, Sergio Biris, he will be head of product. I don't know for sure because I couldn't watch the last... Um, the last podcast with Benny Minko. I'm still very annoyed by that. I, I, I even made a reaction video, which I don't usually do. But obviously, head of product is a very important position and uh, it has everything to do uh, how the product or the service is pushed out to the people. So I am uh, expecting some big announcements here. I think this might uh, mean a change in marketing. And um, I think we need it. I think we need uh, a bit of a change in marketing. I think with this much content consumption from YouTube, from Twitter, for every social platform, we cannot just let uh, the organic growth anymore because Aaron is now getting traction. Beniminko has almost half a million subscribers or followers on Twitter. Therefore, we need just a push from the marketing side and, and maybe not BitBoy Crypto, but we will see. Okay, next one, head of core applications, uh, Stefan Sakal. I don't know how he pronounced his name. However, it doesn't really matter. He will be head of core applications. Obviously, those applications are like Mayar and other applications which are in development, let's say, at the Aeron Network. I don't know which are them, but I would be surprised if they wouldn't want to push out other applications like Mayar or application which helps Mayar. So we will see what will happen there. I'm very curious to see, but yeah. Just hold off your horses. Let's see what they announce. Let's go forward. Holoride, they have big announcements. Obviously, they have a new uh, game, Cloud Breakers. And that was always one of my questions. Do they just get some applications or some games and they integrate it in Holoride? Or they get new games? Because if they create new games, that's an immense 
effort and money and uh, time and everything but it seems that they are in partnership with some uh, gaming studios and there will be there will be games exclusively on holo right now obviously these games cannot be anything which uh, has to do with uh, sitting in a chair because they need to adapt it to the car's movement and for me the biggest question when they will just integrate it in other transportation now i was thinking for example airplanes but there is a big bottleneck there i assume that this uh, you know the holo ride uh, system it's not just the glasses you know you need some kind of a computer or console which will operate the game and that would be a very big weight uh, in addition to the airplane so we will see where it goes however trains for trains i think uh, holo ride would be a very good adaptation let's see what uh, they are planning Next one, Zoidpay. Now, Zoidpay just tweeted this, that uh, do we want to sign up for their bank cards? And I am very happy to see that they are moving forward. Now, very interesting. Uh, I, I am very interested in what they are going to say. Obviously, they have a very funny Zoidpay or Zoidster bank card design. And as you can see here, we have a Formula One as well, which probably means that they are moving forward or they are progressing with the Formula One sponsorship slash partnership. Because uh, Edward said on the podcast that uh, they don't only sponsor the team. There is going to be a very complex involvement. There is going to be a partnership. So uh, the Mercedes F1 team will um, will also use Zoidpay. So I'm very curious to see where they will use it let's let's not forget that in in formula one from this year there is a cost cap okay they cannot spend any uh, extra money okay or what they spend on stupid things let's say like uh, commissions or fees they cannot spend it on developing the car so i think this is a very important uh, opportunity for crypto for Zoidpay and I think for Utrust would be as well in order to minimize the fees for these big companies because for them every penny saved means better performance of the car which is obviously crucial so yeah let's see maybe Utrust should uh, get into Formula 1 I don't know okay this was all for today obviously there are a lot of other things which will happen a lot of other projects which uh, will be there I will try to do or make as much content as I can so I can report. I will also uh, try to tweet as much as possible. And uh, yeah, make sure that you are subscribed, you hit the, you know, the bell button so you get a notification when I upload the video. And follow me on Twitter as well because I promise you I will be more active. I will try to push out as much as possible so you guys who can be there uh, be informed. Thank you for watching and I see you next time.